What is up, you guys? This is Super Sega Ultra in 1997 here. And um, I thought I'd do a um, 4K Blue Ultra HD Blu-ray slash regular Blu-ray collection. Now, with the 4K Ultra collection, I only got like four movies. Actually, let me see. No, five movies on 4K Ultra HD. I don't really buy a whole lot of 4K Ultra HD. But these are all the movies I own on Blu-ray and 4K Ultra. I I would I would include my uh, animes I also have on Blu-ray, but I want to save that for a separate video. I want to wait until I get like maybe two more animes on Blu-ray. Those two animes being Fist of the North Star, the original series, and uh, Boba Bo. Boba Bo because I haven't seen that anime in in for in in quite some time since uh it aired on Toonami many years ago many years ago on Cartoon Network and Fist of the North Star because it's classic classic series from Toei and also if you guys are wondering why why I oh, of course I've mentioned this before a reason why I really haven't really been uploading on YouTube very often like consistency c consistently is because um, I've been really busy with life, you know, work and stuff. And also, uh, also not to mention, I, I recently, well, not recently, but I want to say like two or two, almost nearly two weeks ago, I took my uh, DMV behind the wheel test the second time. I took it, The this is my second time taking it, and I passed, so now I'm considered a licensed driver. So now I have a driver's license. Only thing is, though, I'm going to need to buy a car very soon, but that's for a whole other video. But I thought I'd just throw that out there and get it out of the way before I start with this collection. Well, without further ado, let's get started with our, uh, our Blu-ray and 4K Ultra collection. Okay, so first movie we got here is Spider-Man No Way Home. I I had to get this steelbook because I am a massive fan of this movie. This movie was good. I enjoyed it, despite its continuity continuity issues I have with it. Despite this, um, despite this, I actually really enjoyed it. And of course, for those, of course, if you haven't seen the movie yet, then just then don't then skip over this part. But um, I'm gonna say this: Tobey Maguire and Andrew Garfield were actually pretty good in this movie. No joke, no joke. And after. After like, and even after so many months before the movie came out, keeping them a fucking secret, which will go down to be like one of Hollywood's Hollywood's worst kept secrets. But um, yeah. Anyway, Spider Man No Way Home. I loved it. It. I I I recommend it. I'm probably gonna watch it again when that extended cut comes out uh, in September, in theaters. So I'm like, why the fuck not? Now this is also th now the next. Ugh, sorry, tongue twister. Now this next one up coming up here. This is uh, the this is the 1986 Transformers movie. Uh, I just recently, not recently, but I did buy this like I want to say five weeks ago. I want to say I bought this in June for 25 bucks. You know, it's pretty good. I like this movie. This is a real Transformers movie, not that not those shitty ass Michael Bay movies, but this one's good. I had to get it on 4K Ultra because it looked it looked pretty on there. So, why the fuck not? Next one up is Top Gun. I Actually, I really like this movie. And I also saw Top Gun Maverick. Maverick was actually a really great movie. I liked it. I like this one too, but Maverick, I think it's, a, it's the better movie. But this one's still pretty good. You know, Tom Cruise. This is like... This is when he was like still, still relatively new in the Hollywood like, acting scene in the 80s, I want to say. Even though Tom Cruise does look like the kind of guy that would use adrenochrome on himself. <laughs> but but that's like for a whole nother topic. But um yeah, Top Gun Maverick Top Gun, the original from nineteen eighty six. Good great movie. I also like Top Gun Maverick. Will I get Top Gun Maverick when that comes out on four K Blu ray? Since I don't have a Paramount Plus account anymore, minus wall, right? <laughs> All right, the next one we got. Uh, I don't think this one's. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't think this one's on HBO Max. But um, Joaquin Phoenix is Joker. Um, what what do I gotta say about this one? This is a great fucking movie. This movie is a fucking masterpiece. 
Although I will say there is a sequel in the works. Joker 2 is in the works uh, supposedly at Warner Bro at Warner Brothers, but it's rumored that that not only is Harley Quinn going to be in the sequel, but she's going to be played by Lady Gaga and I really don't not late not yeah, Lady Gaga I think it was. And I honestly don't know how I f how I feel about it. I don't know how I feel about that, but um yeah, anyway, and it's also going to be a musical as well, but um anyways, um this movie is a masterpiece. I really recommend it. If you're if you're like a fan of like the Batman mythos and uh Joker's mythos, I recommend it. Great movie. Terminator 2 Judgment Day. The the fifth and final 4K Ultra HD Blu-ray I have. And this movie, I don't I don't care. This movie is fucking great. One of the best. This was actually the last time the Terminator series was actually pretty good cuz after Terminator 2, everything after T2 is just gay and just fucking garbage. But, um, yeah, Terminator 2, Judgment Day. The first movie and the second one are, like, the only two good ones. Anything after after this is, of course, diarrhea. But, yeah, uh, all-time classic right there. Now we get to the Quentin Tarantino movies. Uh, Inglorious Bastards, um, have not seen it, but we all know that it's a pretty decent movie. One of my favorite movies from Quentin Tarantino, yes, I like this one more than, uh, the Kill Bill movies, actually, and Reservoir Dogs. And this is Pulp Fiction. This movie is a fucking masterpiece. I love this movie. This movie is great. I recommend it. Such an awesome movie. In fact, when this movie comes out on 4K Ultra, the day this movie gets a 4K Ultra HD release, I am so buying that shit. I am so buying that shit because it's, it's, it's a good movie. What else do I got to say about Pulp Fiction that hasn't already been said? Masterpiece of a movie. I fucking love this movie right here, man. Even though Quentin Tarantino is a piece of shit like Dan Schneider because both of them... They go to Epstein's Island for God knows what. I, I still like Pulp Fiction. You can always separate the art from the artist, as they always say. And, of course, there's his first movie, Reservoir Dogs. This one's pretty good, too. I like this one as well. Uh, not my favorite. I will have to say this is my second favorite, but not my all-time favorite. Like I said, Pulp Fiction is my all-time favorite. But this one's also pretty good. My biggest issue I have with this Blu-ray release of the movie, or at least when I was watching it, uh, I think it was on PS5 or PS4. Uh, when I was watching the movie, like, every so often, there was, like, this little trivia quiz thingy about the movie that shows up while you're watching the fucking movie. I'm like, what the fuck, man? I just want to watch the goddamn movie. I don't want to watch this fucking... Like, I don't want to have that trivia shit all over when I'm watching this movie. And it's a good movie, though. I do like Reservoir Dogs. Reservoir Dogs is pretty good. Avengers Endgame. Now, this was before Disney+, Plus, and this was before I even had access to a 4K. Or actually, before I had access to, like, you know, the Xbox One X and all this other shit that can play 4K Ultra movies, but... Before that, I had to get Avengers Endgame. Now I really don't really need this copy anymore. I'm actually thinking about giving it to one of my friends, but uh, but um, now you don't you don't really need to own this because now, now the movie now you can just watch this on Disney Plus, which I can just already do that. But um, yeah, uh, Avengers Endgame, great. Pixar short film collection, uh. I I got this along with Reservoir Dogs and Glorious Bastards and what have you, and all the all of them all together costed me like fifteen bucks for all three, so I decided to get them and you know, it's a Pixar short film collection so you know, I I got that. V for Vendetta, Watchmen and Constantine. Uh, V for Vendetta I have not watched but I heard a lot of good things about it. Watchmen, also another one I, I have seen a little snippets of, but I haven't seen the whole thing. One of these days, I'm going to have to make time to watch uh, Watchmen, because I hear that's a great movie. And maybe even Constantine. I don't know what that one is like, because I've never even seen Constantine with Keanu Reeves. But, you know, yeah. 
The next one up we got is, of course, the third movie in the Evil Dead series. Um, this is Army of Darkness from 1992. And, of course, this is from director Sam Raimi, who will also later go on to do Spider-Man, which is obviously what's going to come up next. But, anyways, this, is mo this movie is fucking good. It's great. I like it. It, it, it's overall a good time, you know. I definitely need to get my hands on the other two. If if the other two have like a 4K Ultra shit going on, then I'm I might pick them up, man, because they're they're good movies. Any anything's better than 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 that shitty 2013 remake. Oh my god. But anyways, Spider Man One and Spider Man Two. You notice I don't have Part Three because Part Three is utterly atrocious. Although, yet again, I did hear that the 3.1 cut of the movie was vastly superior to the theatrical release, which we all know why. But, um, yeah, but anyways, out of the out of the two Raimi Spider-Man movies, Part 2 is my absolute favorite. I just love this one. I, rem I vaguely remember the day I saw this movie in theaters. It was 2004. I was only seven years old at the time, and, um... I remember just loving every minute of it. This this was not only was it just your typical superhero movie, but it's also like a superhero movie that like deals with how is he able to keep the persona, how he's able to live a double life and how it's getting to him and it's hard for him to do so. Oh, and it's based off that Spider-Man No More comic from comic storyline from Steve Dicko, I think, and uh and uh Stan Lee, so um, yeah, but anyways, what I gotta say, I like the first movie too, but the part, part, but I like the first movie as well, but part two will always be my all-time favorite. Those movies were my childhood. I, I just love those movies. Sorcerer and the White Snake, I haven't watched it, but I hear it's like a really decent kung fu movie from Jet Li. Then we got King Kong vs. Godzilla, you know, what I gotta say about this one. Before you ask, no, this version does not contain the 1962 Japanese version. Which, of course, we all know the Japanese version, Godzilla wins, while the U.S. version, King Kong wins. And this is the U.S. version of that. Next one up we got is, of course, Ghostbusters, the 1984 movie. Um, this, this is, this, um, I like Ghostbusters. I, I love this movie. This movie is pretty good. Part, say what you want about part two, but I think part two is a fun popcorn movie. Yeah, it's not as good as the original, but I still like part two a lot. Way better than that god-awful 2016 train wreck with the female Ghostbusters. As for Ghostbusters Afterlife, that one was pretty good. That one was pretty good. That, I, I like Ghostbusters Afterlife. I recommend that one a lot if you're a diehard fan of the series. So, um, yeah, but anyways, the first Ghostbusters movie, classic. Notorious, which I bought for like five bucks in 2015. So I've, I've had this for nearly seven years and I got it for five dollars at Big Lots. I vaguely remember watching this on my iPod once for Christmas of 2010. And I remember I was watching like it was like one of the sex scenes and my mom saw what I was watching. She was like the fuck are you on dude but yeah but anyways uh um it's an okay movie it's like a biography type shit with like that tell that's like a reenactment of what happened during the life of uh notorious you know biggie smalls epic uh i seen it once and um it was all right then this is family guys something something dark side um, I've had this Blu-ray since Christmas 2009, and I've, and I still have this Blu-ray copy since, and, um, you know, this is the Family Guy parody of, uh, of Star Wars Empire Strikes Back. We all know how good that movie is. I own the Unaltered Trilogy on VHS, although via the 1995 version of, of that release, I do plan on getting the 1988 slash 1992 versions of those of those tapes one of these days. We'll see. But anyway, um, Verdi vs. Jason. Um, you know, I watch this one from time to time on Halloween every year sometimes. 
I mean, even though I know this movie got got a bad rap when it came out, I still liked it. I don't give a fuck. Like Water for Chocolate. Uh, still sealed. Uh, I think this was like more of a, ro a romance kind of movie. Like a chick flick, I think. This came out in 1993. And uh, maybe one day. I don't know. Now this movie, I gotta watch again. This movie is fucking amazing. It's hilarious too. Hangover Part 2. I remember, yeah, this steelbook has kind of aged a little bit. You can see, but you can tell by all these markings right here. But yeah, I bought I bought this in 2013, I think. But yeah, this movie, this movie is absolutely fucking hilarious. I recommend this to anyone. I got to sit down and watch this movie again. This movie is fucking hilarious. Part the first Hangover was good, but I think part 2 was the best. As for part 3, I heard part 3 sucked ass, but uh yeah. Ratatouille, um, I had this, I, just like Family Guy, the Family Guy, uh, Blu-ray, the Something Something Dark Side, I've also had this Blu-ray for quite some time, I think I remember my uncle bought this for me on my birthday once when I was like, when I was like 10, 11 years old, when I was like still, okay, keep in mind, this was like pre-Disney Plus, so, you know, um, yeah, this was like before, like, Disney Plus, like, really was a thing, but, um, yeah, I've had it since, and, um, you know, it's Ratatouille. It, you know. Conan the Destroyer from Arnold Schwarzenegger, you know, the, the second Conan movie. The oddest thing about this one, this was, like, slightly, this was, like, a little bit before the PG-13 rating was in effect, because they, they didn't make the PG-13 rating until 1984, which is the same year this one came out. This one's PG, but yet the first movie is rated R. Yeah, I don't see. I don't. I don't know how that makes any sense, but it it, it happens for some reason. But yeah, I have not seen it, but I will get around to watching it. But I have seen the first Conan. All I gotta say is that the first Conan was actually pretty good. Oh, it's pretty awesome. And one thing about this movie too is that. The, the the original voice actor for Aku from Samurai Jack, you know, Maiko or Mako or however the fuck you want to say his name. He's actually the narrator in this movie. No joke, he's actually the narrator of this movie, so why not? And I also forgot to mention with Pulp Fiction, with Pulp Fiction, uh, Phil Lamar, who is also Samurai Jack himself and uh, the, the guy from Futurama and Will from Foster's Home for Imaginary Friends and all that. He's also, he's, I forget his character, I forgot his character's name at the moment. No, yeah, his name was Marvin in Pulp Fiction. He was Marvin in Pulp Fiction, just to let you know. Phil Amar was actually a pretty good actor, so, yeah. I thought I'd just throw that useless information out there to anyone who's a fanboy of, like, of Samurai Jack and whatever show uh, Phil Amar was involved. And Michael, too. District 9, uh, that was pretty good. I liked it. Punisher Warzone. Uh, I actually remember liking this movie. Uh, I know at the time when this movie came out, it got really negative like reviews or what have you. I have to see this movie again because I haven't seen it since 2009 or 2010. Yeah, I haven't seen it since. But this movie came out in 2008, I think. But um, yeah, it's yeah, you know, it's all right. The Dark Knight absolute masterpiece enough said then we got the tim burton batman movies which is batman 89 and batman returns with batman 89 this if batman 89 was more of a of a like batman comic book movie then batman returns is more of a tim burton movie i want to say um you know i like these these movies were good i think these movies were way better than uh batman and robin that's for sure I thought Batman Forever was all right. Uh, all right, then we're only down to three more movies. This is the Predator Triple Pack, which includes 1987's Predator, Predator 2 from 1990, and, of course, 2010 Predators. Um, the first movie will always be classic. The second one I thought was all right. And I have not seen the 2010's Predators, so I can't even speak on that. All right, super bad. I fucking love this movie. This movie is great. 
this movie is about like two high schoolers or that are about to graduate high school and maybe go into college pretty soon which of course our two main characters are played by uh uh jonah hill and michael Sarah, respectively um i can't i i can't really remember what i was gonna say about it but this movie is absolutely amazing i love it i recommend it anyone who wants to who wants to have a good time and shit with like homies or whatever watch this shit even if you're high on fucking weed i recommend it and of course last but not least is of course i am legend i love this movie i really fucking do but come on will smith you know even though you did go to epstein's island for again god knows what but come on bro why you gotta fucking slap chris rock like that at the at the at at the oscars why the why the fuck did you gotta do that because that shit you did now warner brothers warner brothers is considering putting uh the uh, i am legend 2 on hold because of that shit a lot of a lot of movies that are in the works that had will smith are now gonna be either canceled or put on hold because of the because of the whole, uh, you know, when he fucking slapped Chris Rock. It's like, what the fuck were you thinking, man? Over a fucking G.I. Jane joke. Like, like, bruh, like, who the fuck, who the fuck gets offended like that, man? Yeah, Will Smith, more like Will Simp, am I right? And also, everyone knows that uh, Jada Pickett Smith is, is a fucking piece of shit in real life. From what I, to Will Smith. Because that is one of the most unhealthy and most toxic relationships i have ever fucking seen well anyways you guys uh i know i'm i'm just kind of tired man because i just got off of work literally like not too long ago like an hour or two ago i just got off of work and now i now i just want to fucking i might actually go to bed after this guys um this is Super Sega Ultra in 1997 here saying, signing the fuck out. I'm tired as fuck. I'm gonna go to sleep. Good night, motherfuckers. Peace.